Hello everyone, Miss Joyce here. This is an episode in our Saints for Quarantine series. So I'm here in my coat closet, right? So kind of Narnia style coats, it's not that big. And I'm here because last year we had a special guest come to our benefit at school. I think some of the older students might have seen her, Immaculate Elibigiza. And she is a Catholic woman who spent, I think about two months trapped in a closet like this because there was a war going on in her country and she had to hide there for her safety. And while she was there for two months, she prayed the rosary over and over and over again. I think she said she prayed the rosary, all of it, about seven times a day. And when she went into that coat closet, she was just kind of a normal person. She believed in God. She went to mass with her family. But when she came out of that prayer closet, she was a prayer warrior. She really met God there. She really grew in her faith. She became convicted that God loved her and knew her and had a plan for her life. And so her time in quarantine turned her into this amazing Catholic who travels the world and talks about God's mercy and his love and the power of the rosary. And I just want to encourage us that wherever you are, it's probably a little bit bigger than a closet. So we can be grateful for that. I know it might feel really small. We might feel stuck inside, but you know, if God can meet Immaculate Illibigiza in a tiny little closet, he can meet us where we are, stuck inside with our siblings. So today is the feast day of the Annunciation, the day that the angel Gabriel came to Mary and invited her to become the mother of God, and she said yes. And of course, we celebrate that every time we say the Hail Mary, every time we pray the rosary. So I just want to encourage you that wherever you are, God wants you to meet him right now. He wants you to grow in your faith during this time. You're not supposed to be quite the same kids I saw when we come back to school. You should be even stronger in your faith, knowing that God loves you even more and more. So, miss you. Hope to see you soon. Maybe pray a rosary in a closet today for the Feast of the Annunciation. Bye-bye.